Hey there, this is Meg with Moonlight Games, and we are back with some more um, Zero Escape. So last time, we got down here, where pretty much everyone died but K, Phi, and I. And because someone had destroyed Dio's watch, K and Phi were going to die. I would still survive because I had Luna and Alice's bracelets, but... I would have rather died with them. But we were missing something here, so we could not continue forward. So I'm hoping we can find that information by coming back up here and selecting um, not selecting the blue door in this, in this situation. So yes, let's go here. So let's see if we can skip. Uh, so we already went through the blue door, so we want to go through the green door. Alice, Luna, the green door. Right. I'm coming. We both took off for the door, and I followed at a run. I glanced back over my shoulder in time to see the others head into their respective doors. Phi, Dio, and Kay ducked into the red door, just as Tenmyoji carried Quark through the blue door, Clover right on his heels. Two. One. Yeah, that's the difference. Zero. Luna was with... Um, Tenmyoji and Quark. Chromatic doors closing. So this should be all new for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scanning our bracelets. So right now we are at the part before all goes to heck. Before Alice dies, before Luna dies, before Quark goes crazy everything. So we actually get to see the treatment center firsthand, whereas before we were just hearing it from everybody else. So this will be good. All three doors seem to be locked. That's unfortunate. Which is interesting because before the one on the right was unlocked as well as the treatment center. Yeah, we like know what that is. Yeah, let's just skip over that crap. And take off my watch. Because it is in my way. Oh, interesting. So when we pulled that thing this time, the treatment center didn't open. Huh. Look at the door on the right. It opened. Huh. That doesn't make sense. Why would just the one on the right open? How do you open the other two? You're probably just overthinking it. That door opened. Am I? That means we're going through it. What? Bring it on. But everyone else got to go through the treatment Don't what? go soft on me now. I'll leave you behind. What? Come on, Sigma. Let's go. Okay. I right. Let's go. Fine. I won't question it. But I want to question it. Gallon Bay or whatever it was called? Gollum Bay? Well, if they're talking about a golem in the, 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 the term of something being made from clay and then clay and then coming to life... Are they talking cyborgs? What is this place? It is kind of confusing, isn't it? A little bit. What is it for? <laughs> well, I think it looks like some sort of workroom. Okay. If you say so. She... We should split up and search She and K said that. We need to find, um, key cards with moon symbols on them, right? Yes. They should be somewhere in this room. Alright, let's get to it. So we're not finding the treatment center at all? Interesting. Alright, well, let's see what we can find here. Oh, you were not there before. Okay, so we have a radio. It's got an antenna. Do you think it could be a radio? Why didn't you try turning it on? Yeah, well, I tried that. Nothing happened. Maybe the batteries are dead? Huh. I don't think it runs on batteries. There's an electrical socket on the side here. Oh, so it might have the plug. Okay. Um... What the heck is this guy? Maybe it's an Egyptian mummy. Ha, huh, funny coming from her. Anyway, you look at it, it's a robot. Then maybe it's a robot. There's no maybe about it. I can't imagine it's anything else. You're kidding, right? That's insane. Well, what do you think it is? Just a well-made mannequin. I don't know about that. Chevron block. Okay. What is this? Feels kind of greasy. Maybe it's oil? Yeah. There's a puddle of oil. Okay. 
robot-y thing. I don't think it's just a crash test dummy or something like that. Okay, well that's where we need to get the stuff from. We kind of knew that. Oh, yep, yeah, nope. Uh, a chevron piece probably goes there. This kind of looks like a stage. Yeah, like for disco. Really? Disco? What's disco? <laughs> Who knows? Not me. <laughs> oh my god. Can we not talk about disco? <laughs> Doesn't this button seem suspicious? Yeah, most of the buttons are boring or just incomprehensible. But this one speaks to me. What does it say? Come on, a big red button on a plate with black and yellow stripes? It could scream, don't press me any louder if it said, don't press me on it. Is it a self-destruct button? Maybe the moment we press it, we'll hear a soft hiss, and then the room will start to fill up with poisonous gas. What if it launches a missile? I don't know, that seems a little... Yeah! Did Luna just push it? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? It's okay. There is no way anything really dangerous would be would just be right out here. Pretty sure Zero Senior wants us to play through this whole game. Wouldn't make much sense just to kill us in one of these rooms. Maybe, but that's just your opinion. You'd be wrong. Well, I guess so. Then why the hell did you... Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Nothing happened, so there's nothing to get mad about, alright? Hm. You heard that noise, though, right? Like something trying to start up? Um, I was waiting for our friend here to be sitting upright. Uh, anything else over here? Lore? Okay. Oh, we're gonna push it one more time? Oh. There it is again. What is that? I wonder what's making it. Whatever it is doesn't sound like it's working right. Kinda sound like it didn't have enough juice or something. Okay. Ah, no. Here we go. A desk with some drawers. There's a PC monitor keyboard on top of it. Where's the computer? I'd imagine it's built into the monitor. Hmm. It's kind of hard to see in this light, but there's a single cable coming out from the back of it. Is it a power cable? I think so. Ah, here we do. This way. <clears throat> oh, wait. Here we go. Perfect. Guess it's nice that we plugged this radio in, but what do we do with it now? Why don't you try tuning it? What? We need to adjust it so it's picking up a specific frequency. Maybe we'll hear something. Okay, if we get lucky, maybe we can pick up a transmission from outside. Okay, right, I'll see what I can do. Oh, I don't think I have the information for this. I don't think I have what it takes to do that. This is like you do much, and then we know that, huh? You're probably right. Let's see if we can find any clues. Yeah, that's kind of what we need right now. Oh, wait, wait. Mm, not what I wanted, but okay. There's a white jacket. Looks like there's something on the lapel. A name tag? Harold. ID. Okay. Huh? What? A white jacket. Oh, look, there's something in the pocket. Another chevron piece. Good. Is this a binder? There's a single piece of paper in here. Looks like a list. Aha! A frequency list. So let's go to the archives. Oh, okay, wait. So, hold on. I must... No. Oh, I didn't grab a pen and paper. Shite. Uh... This notebook will do. And do I have a pen that is functioning? Yes, I do. Okay, so we need to find Harold's ID badge. 11010. Okay. Nope, not, not, not Frequency list. 11010 equals 400 hertz. <coughs> okay, hold on. Let's try this again. No.
Haha. <laughs> that was easier than I anticipated. But we got it. Oh god, it sounds like dial-up. What? What was that noise? Look! The monitor! A radio. I don't think we need it anymore. Okay. It reacted to the noise from the radio and turned on. So it's some kind of voice recognition system then. Looks that way. Yeah. There's something on the screen. This is... I think it's a blueprint of this room. Okay. Let's take a look. Hmm. So that's clearly the table. What's the X? Ooh. A poster, huh? It's a little unsettling. Maybe it's a clue. Yeah, let's take it. it'll have something to do with this, but right now, can I combine it with the other one? Oops, just muted myself. Aha, hold on one second. I need to move my my timer because I'm going to keep muting myself otherwise. No, Harold, not with you. Aha, okay, so that's good. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Whoa, anybody else feel dizzy all of a sudden? Oh, that's just your imagination. Yeah, right, whatever. So what the heck is this? No idea, which makes it pretty useless to us. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Battery A. Toolbox. It gets a key in it. Huh, that's odd. What is it? This key. It's. It obviously goes, in to, goes to this keyhole, but it won't turn. Can you get it out? Hmm. Oh, we got a key. Maybe I could... What are you doing with that? Oh, okay. Guess nothing. Uh, what is this? If anything, no? Okay. Alright, can't do nothing with that. Let's go over here. What's this thing? It's shaped like a star. Maybe you need to put something into it. Something shaped like a star? Huh, that's odd. Why won't it fit? The star shape block? Yeah, it's the same shape and everything. Well, maybe it's not the right size. Guess so. It looks like the block is just a little too big to fit. What am I supposed to do with it? That did not help me. Eh. I'm trying to rotate. Rotate. Hmm. Is something missing? Huh. Oops. Looks like the monitor turned off. That's okay. I've got a, the blueprint that's stored up here. You remember that blueprint we found? Yeah, I do. There was a red X on it, wasn't there? Exactly, and I don't think the spot that X was indicating was right around... And Wait, and don't you think the spot that X was indicating was right around here? What, you forgot already? Come on. Yeah, it was, but... Huh. Let's try putting the key in oil. And I guess we will try to go back to the... see if that opens it up. Locks open. Okay. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Might as well have a look then. Washing. Bottle of detergent. A screwdriver. A silver key. Okay. Huh. I'm not... Both sides of the room have long platforms. Looks like a stage. Hmm. Yeah, 
Okay, never mind then. I'm just trying to click now anywhere, all the places. But it doesn't seem to be doing anything for me. There are a bunch of switches and buttons here. I have no idea what this stuff on the screen means either. What do the, these buttons do? Probably shouldn't press any of them just to be safe. Oh my god, I know. So hard to move around these friggin' rooms without touching like everything. Is there still like stuff in here? Do you wear coats like this at work? You said you have a medical license, right? Oh, um, yes, yes, I do. Okay. There's a white jacket. Okay. We didn't actually check the white jacket in this one, did we? The doctor's coat, huh? Would you like me to put it on? Why? I just thought you might be into that kind of thing. <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about. See? Bullseye. Look at you all bashful. You can be cute when you're embarrassed. Is there anything in the pockets? No. What the fuck am I supposed to do then? How about this? Nope. Are you serious? If we could try hitting something with it, what would you hit? Maybe if I roll this around a little bit. Let's climb on top of it. What is that gonna accomplish? Seriously, is there like nothing else here? It's empty. What am I supposed to do? I swear. Yes, I know about the long platform. Hmm. Let's try combining things, because sometimes that works. Combine. Okay, not with the battery. Not with the screwdriver. Not with the key. How about with Harold? No. I tried that already, so no. Uh, let's see what they have to say about this. That's a screwdriver. You could probably use it to unscrew screws. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Remember the blueprint was on the computer? I think the X must refer, refer to this spot. I would imagine so. It doesn't look very important. All oh, that's here is a puddle of oil. How about we try to wipe it off? Wipe it off? Oh, hold on. Turn. Oh, are you going to use that detergent to clean up the oil? Yeah. You need something to wipe it up with. Seems like that would be easier for with a rag. I, where is a rag? I like did not see oh my god I hate this shit. Can I use one of these coats? But then where's the rag? I don't have anything that even remotely looks like a rag. I'm frustrated. I'm a frustrated Freddy. Okay, let me think, I guess. Uh, I knew I was missing something. Just what was beyond me. Is it locked? Yeah, we already have a key. Come in. It worked. Now open it. Oh. Yes, it fit perfectly. Did you just hear a noise? Yeah, from the middle drawer. Okay. Okay, so we got a handle. And what about this bottom one? Is there a rag? I was gonna say, is there a rag? 
No, there's just a tablet. Maybe combined with the screwdriver. Aha, uh -huh. so combined with blue battery. Now we need a red one. Okay. So no, we need this one. But the thing I don't like about this system is oh, Sometimes it'll move really fast, and sometimes it'll move really slow. Do you think you can turn it? Yeah, give me a second. Okay. What the hell? Something's coming down from the ceiling. Those are... Oh. Oh. Those are more robots. Oh my god. They look just like the thing on the table. Robots. Okay, oh, these are- ooh. You got a note for me? <laughs> hey, the power's on. It's showing something. An authentication screen, maybe. It probably has some sort of security lock. I do not even know where I would start. I have a feeling it's that poster, but... She thinks it's a military lab, but I don't know... Hmm... I don't, yeah, I don't think any of this is really... I never actually thought it was a platform for robots. Well, they're all smiling. Oh! <laughs> this one's in boxers. This one's wearing boxers. Yeah, looks like it. Why would a robot be wearing underwear? Maybe he's uh, hiding something. Hiding what, though? Like a diary or something? Why the hell would you hide a diary in your crotch? Okay, well, maybe he's got a hose or something. Whoa, damn way to cut the chase there. Whatever. Move these shorts of obfuscation and let us gaze upon it. This so-called hose. Is she getting a little too excited about this? Alright, here goes. <laughs> Luna's screaming already. Oh my god. How old are you? Cute. Oh. Well, Alice yanked them off, and they're just here now. Oh, but... <laughs> oh, yep, yep, I know. I am... Yes, I am aware. I'm just trying to scroll over, please. Oh my god, so... <sighs> there we go. You're gonna wipe up the oil with the boxers, right? Yeah. Okay, go for it. 12-0-V. Uh, hold on one second. I have a delivery. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Let's see here. I am back. Yes, I am. Okay. Notebook. Where did you go? Couldn't have gone far. Okay, so 12 0 V. A O Z I? No, you're reading from the wrong angle. 12 V. 12 O V. Okay. And. What does that do for us? Can we push the button now? Um, could could it be a button that activates all the robots? Ugh, just thinking about all of them suddenly waking up and turning to look at us with dead, inhuman eyes and slowly beginning their inexorable march forward. We'd never survive if they all attacked us at once. Uh... Yeah, no. 
No, no, no. That ooh, this is new. I didn't see this before. This came down with the robots, right? Yes. It's got a pipe running out of it towards them. I have a feeling that means there's a connection there. Supply the correct voltage by connecting the wires. Uh. Oh. Huh. Does it have to meet 120? So that would be 60 and 60, right? Uh, so now I need a calculator. <clears throat> okay, so we have... 60 plus 10 plus 40 plus 35. Potentially, it's going to be too much, but we will give it a shot. Okay, no. Yeah, it has to... Hmm... So that's not right. Um, so that's 95. to get it to 120. Closer, but no. Let's go back. Let's try it one more. Let's refresh and we'll try it one more time. Okay. Because I do think it has to go through 30. Sorry, I keep getting these messages. God dang. Um. That's not going to work either. I don't think we want to use the 100 at all. 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's 100. Hold on. Hmm. I don't think we want to hit that either. Uh, five off. Shit. Okay. Um.
so that's 70. Hmm. I'm going to have to pause this and, co and, and come back because I need to fiddle with it a little bit more. There's something I'm not seeing here, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I have an idea. No, that's not right. This one? Mm. Has to be... <gasps> there it is! Yes! Finally. Finally. It, it took me about a half hour to get through that, because my mind is not where it needs to be. Oh, you're amazing. I've fallen for you all over again. <laughs> hey, what? Power distribution complete. Pre-boot sequence complete. Please press the power button located on the console. Uh, what was that? I'm not sure. Better do what it says, though. I think I'm done with this thing. Okay, so we have to go back to the power button. Come on. That announcement just now was about this button. You guys ready? I'm gonna push it. Yep, I'm ready. Here we go. And there. Uh-oh. What did we do? Did it work? Look! Their eyes! Eyes? Ah, uh, no. What the fuck? No, that's not what I fucking want. Well, I'm going all the way around, because that's all it'll let me do. Oh! Hello. One of the robot's eyes is glowing red. Both of the robot's eyes are glowing red. Okay, am I not... Okay, so I have a feeling I need to take down this sequence. Oh my god, yes, I... I... <sighs> So it is... This one, zero, zero. Both are lit. And then it is blank and one lit. And then lit and blank. And then lit and blank is what it looks like anyways. Yep. And what about these dudes? And then we have both are lit, then blank, one lit, blank, one lit. Wait, where am I? One lit, nothing, nothing, lit. And then blank, and then one lit. So I have a feeling that this has to do with the poster with the eyes on it. So, okay, so if we do it by the ones not lit, it would be R, E, M, I, one, two, so it's one, three, four, Seven, two, four, six. So I, then skip to uh, I N N, and then no, and then C E. Reminisce. Oh my god. Okay, well, whatever. My food's on its way. Uh, C E. That's one, two, three, four, five. So we're five and one, two, three, four, 
five E, skip the N, H, C, E, P. Hmm. Well, let's try the other option. So it would be B. B, skip the next two. E, A, skip the I, C. Oh my god, stop texting me, bro. My god. I get it, you're my driver. So something of hope be beacon of beacon of hope and then i think it is remnants or uh, reminisce okay 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 um so that was for this, right? Uh, beacon of hope. Okay. Oh, so I was right. Okay, good. Uh, beacon of hope. How optimistic. Sure, sure. Look at the screen. Okay, so we have blank, moon, blank, star, moon, blank, 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 blank. Is this? Okay. Mm, let's try the other one. Maybe we'll get that second one. R E M I N N. Oh my god, my DoorDash is calling me. Hold on. Hello? Oh, okay. I'll be out in just a second. Thank you. Bye. Oh my god, they need a signature. Why do they need a signature? Okay, hold on. I swear. <laughs> no more interruptions. But my Portillo's is here. If you've never had Portillo's, it's hot dogs. They have um, Chicago beef and burgers and salads and stuff. So I have a chicky sandwich waiting for me. Once we, uh, once I get done with this episode, reminiscence. Uh, R, let me think. R E M I N. No. I. Reminisce. No. S C. We're really testing my skills here today. E N C E. Aha! Da -ha -ha. <laughs> All right, so we got another one. Good work. We haven't really been getting the extra hidden stuff that's on hard, so. This will be a nice comeback, I guess. So blank, sun, blank, 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 star, star, blank. Okay, this looks different. The symbols have changed and they're in different places. Alright, so I think we can try to get out of here now. That should be everything. Maybe you should press it right. Here it goes. I actually wasn't gonna press the button. Oh no. Um, okay. I don't know why we had to push that button, but we pushed the button. Uh, yeah, so let's let's do the blue one first. No, sun. Ah! Okay. So we did that one. You did it! Good work. Hmm, well done. What's with the attitude? Never mind that. Let's just get see what's inside. Okay. Uh, safe. Golem. Oh, duh. 
Okay, secrets. Okay, we already know all that stuff. Golem. The golem is an anthropomorphic creature from Jewish folklore. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The clay that comes to... Yeah. Golems are made from clay and will obey any orders given to them by their creators without question. Although they tend to make their instructors very... Take instructions very literally. Yeah, they're not supposed to be the brightest of the bunch. A golem is created by performing, performing a holy ritual and then kneading the clay into the shape of a person, chanting a spell, and writing the Hebrew word emet, truth, on the golem's forehead. Yeah. Uh, one of the golems found in the nonary game facility, he is discovered lying on the maintenance table in the golem bay. His product ID is GTM CM Golem. He asked to be referred to by the last bit, which is of course Golem. Much to his surprise, this ends up being pronounced like Golem. Anyway, on the side note, GTM CM Golem stands for Golem. Oh, sorry. Golem type male Cockney model Golem. A Chinese room. Wait. Just, okay. A Chinese room is a thought experiment developed by American philosopher John Searle to contest some of the ideas that, about artificial intelligence. The experiment itself is explained in more depth in the game, but the general idea behind it is to pose the question, do intelligent responses indicate actual understanding? Searle contests that a computer could be programmed to respond intelligently in conversation with humans, so much so that it would seem to be human itself. But that would not necessarily, or perhaps could not, actually understand what it was saying. Of course this raises the question, how can we know that human minds are not, in essence, Chinese rooms? How can we really say that we understand the, the things we say, or are we just simulating understanding? <sighs> Turing test. The Turing test is designed to gauge a computer's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior. Ah, okay. Yeah, we already know about that. An acronym for General Purpose Autonomous Labor Electronical Machines. Golems are robots developed and sold by an American corporation called Hephaestus System. Some of the units in this facility... Isn't Hephaestus the one who makes the golems in the folklore? Anyway. Have had their software significantly enhanced by Zero Senior. A portion of them have been also given ABT created by Zero Senior. Incidentally, ABT is short for Artificial Biological Tissue. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so now let's get the key so we can get the heck out of here. Um, so it was... Oops. Moon. Star Moon. Ah, it opened again. I wonder what's inside this time. There's a lot of stuff in here. That's good, isn't it? Better than having nothing, at least. Let's go through them one by one. First we've got... A map. It says Floor B. The map we found in the lounge said Floor A on it. Okay. Keep going. There's a little lot there. These must be the moon cards. Okay, so we still haven't done the second Ambidex game. We've only done the first. Okay. Why? You're so low. Alice and I can keep the other one. Oh, of course. Thank you. Alright, what's next? Looks like a note. Oh, the the more... Oh, I can't skip these. Just the more A-B rules, where if nobody votes, then everyone's penalized. Uh, so if three of us can't abstain, there has to be at least one vote. Okay. Make sure people are actually playing the game. Yep. What sort of situation are you talking about? Well, it could be anything, really. Alright, whatever. We've only got two things left. What's this thing? Looks like some sort of plug or key. Wait, is that to the back of Kay's suit? Look at this. This is what it kind of looks like. A power button round with the little thing. Look at the safe. What's the last thing? It's another key. Pretty sure it is. We can get out now. Okay, awesome. Let's wait. What should we do about the plug? Um, fine, I guess we'll hold on to it. Doubt we'll need it, but you never know. Oh, I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Um, alright, that's the door we came in from. Let's find the exit. Here we go. Lock for the door. Right now it says close. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. 
Yep, let's go. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. <clears throat> we got out of it. Master of Escapology. Now, Dab Governor. Um, who is that? Was that you, Luna? No. Then Alice? You honestly think a voice that coarse could come from a throat as fine as this? Wait, did they say that the robot was Cockney? Oh my god, it's the cyborg. Oh yeah, that was, uh, that was me, mate. Because that's the Cockney what? accent, oh my god. Sigma, look, what is that? It's a Cockney robot. Oh, blimey, that hurts. I ain't right for a fellow's back to feel like this. It's a robot. And it's talking. With an accent. Eh, can't help it, Flower. Didn't choose to talk like this. Not by half. Now, Alice, darling, do I rightly recollect you characterizing my speech as coarse? <laughs> well, that's right, cruelties. Aww. You really think I asked for this? See, they figured they'd give us all a, um, a what you call them, a... Personality. <laughs> Some tosser thought they'd give me this one. It ain't right, I tell you. <laughs> I quite like it. So, what the hell are Cooper. you? Cooper. If you're a barrel maker, I'm an, astro an astronaut. <laughs> right you are, me old son. Right you are. Me old son. Oh, go on, have a butchers, mate. What do I look like to you? Robot, you say? Well, nearly there, but they call us golems round here. Yep, golems. Golem? Oh, I've heard of golems. They're sort of monsters, I guess, from Jewish folklore. Yeah. They're made from clay, and they look like men. They're supposed to do whatever their master, or creator, or whatever commands them to do. Yep. Well, aren't you a clever bird? You are, of course. The golem of myth is a clay creation that moves under its own power. Our spellings are might different, though. The original blokes are spelt G-O-L-E-M, but me and me mates are G-A-U-L-E-M. That's an acronym for General Purpose Autonomous Labor Electronic Machine. And the truth to tell, it's a bit rubbish when you write it out all like that, but I figured they wanted to make sure they had the golem thing in there, you know? What with us being robots and all. Um... So, should I just call you Gollum? Uh, that don't seem quite kosher. After <laughs> all, all of me mates here are Gollums too. <laughs> it doesn't sound kosher when it's a Jewish monster. <laughs> I couldn't very well call all of you lot human, could I? I mean, you could. What should we call you then? Well, we've all got a product ID, and they're unique. I figure that's as good a name as any. And your ID is? GTM-CM-G-OLM Whoa. That's way too long. We can't remember that. What? You taking the mickey out of me? <laughs> Never had a problem myself. Right then. Let's just use the last bit, shall we? Gollum. G-O-L-M? Gollum. M? Gollum. <laughs> Come on, man. That's just Gollum. <laughs> well, I'll be buggered. <laughs> can't say I ever noticed that before. Oh, my Sounds God. It's a strange coincidence, isn't it? <sighs> What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, Gollum, you said. Alice, darling, a little what? bit ago, right? A gentleman can't say something nice to a pretty young bird, eh? <laughs> no, I don't care if you call her darling. What I'm saying is you called her Alice. How did you know her name? <laughs> oh, she ain't the only one of you lot whose name I know. I know who you are, what? Sigma. And you too, Luna. <laughs> I'm right familiar with all nine of you. How? You don't know? Oh, they got cameras all over this place. Well, then again, the lenses aren't much bigger than a screw. Oh. And they're all hidden away. So I suppose I can't really blame you for missing them, you know? Now, Interesting. as I was saying, there were these cameras, you see. And all of the data they record gets sent off to the mainframe in real time. So, I just gave the main core a ring, got those videos, and now I know everything you've done. Then... Does that mean... You're Zero Junior? Cool, blimey. Are you bleeding serious? <laughs> oh, you gotta be off your box if you think I'm Young Master Zero. The Young Master is a right proper AI what supervises all the electronic bits and bobs in this place. Okay. So I you're just. Myself, a and henchman? And those with the misfortune to be like me 
are more akin to computer terminals who are merely borrowing a little bit of the central core. Okay. So golems are kind of like Zero Junior's servants? Um, uh, No, not quite, Governor. Not quite. I'd say me and me mates here are more like uh, arms and legs, right? Now, you lot don't have brains in your arms and legs, do you? Of course not. Right you are, missus. It'd be all sorts of nasty if your elbows and that lumpy bit on your ankle was all packed with brains. <laughs> the lumpy bit on my ankle? Okay. Well, we're like your arms or legs. Sorry, I have to mix my drink. It's kind of settled on the bottom, sorry. The golem seat of consciousness, so to speak, ain't in the head. The fact of the matter is, it's not anywhere in the body, which makes a fellow wonder, where is it? In the mainframe? Spot on. So that part of me what thinks is in the mainframe. Everything this here body sees and hears and what have you, that all gets sent back there. Then the mainframe does some sort of computery jiggery pokery and comes up with some decisions and, and those decisions beget command. Now those commands are sent over the wireless like boop 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 and eventually <laughs> boop, my boop, body boop. picks them up. Finally, those commands cause actions what move the various bits in my body. That's why this thing's like a computer terminal, you see. The body's just an output device of sorts. If we were talking about one of them personal computers here, you could say a golem's kind of like a, uh, a monitor, right? Eh? Huh? Wait a minute. Then wouldn't that make you part of Zero Junior? Well, I suppose you could say that. What with us sharing the mainframe and all. Hmm. <laughs> but I don't know shit all about this game he's running. Really? That part of mainframe's locked away from the rest of us. Interesting. So they can only have certain I'm access an points. Okay. Core. <coughs> Zero and I are two different blokes. You recollect what Gollum stands for, huh? I'm autonomous. Hmm, but if that's the case, your hands and feet analogy doesn't really make sense. My arms and legs aren't autonomous. They don't just move on their own. Uh, you sure, Governor? I watched you cross your arms just now. Yeah, but that's from neurons in your brain setting off the instinct to move your arms. And that you, you frowning and your forehead getting all <laughs> wrinkly. Do you do these things on purpose? Well, when you crossed your arms, were you thinking, right then, let's cross them, shall we? Curl on down then, mouth. Oh, and eyebrows, I'd be much obliged if you'd squeeze in a bit. There's a good pair of blokes. That's what you <laughs> was thinking, innit? He's cute. No? Oh my god. Uh, didn't reckon so. I figure you did all of that subconsciously. Ain't no man on earth who says to himself, feeling a mite nervous, I'll just twitch me leg around a bit, you know? <laughs> Who's thinking real hard about something and says to themselves, well, I think I'll just give the old loaf a scratch, that or that. <laughs> How's about when you reach for your tea, when you turn a page in your book? Or what about when your eyes just go straight for the pair on that bird you fancy? <laughs> yeah, the list goes on, me chums. But all of those things are your subconscious at work. Now, true, when part of your body does something, it's because your brain said so. But that don't mean your conscious mind is involved. <laughs> Fact is, it can't be. If your brain had to deal with all the piddly bits of living, it'd make you bore me. That's how us golems and a young master get along. You, um, you got it all sorted now, chums? Kind of. Then you're saying that Zero Junior is the central part of the mainframe, and the golems are like his hands and feet? right -o. Okay, so they're all part of the same system, but at different Blimey. hierarchy points. Well, guess I shouldn't be talking about such heavy rubbish, eh? My shoulders are all stiff. You're a robot. How can your shoulders get stiff? And you said your back hurt earlier. Are you just messing with us? Yes, I did. And no, I ain't. Me back is a right mess, it is. Last maintenance check, they just left me in. I've been on this bed here for years. Ah, oh. <sighs> the lubricant for me joints is all gummed up. Every time I move, it hurts. But why did you wake up again after all this time? Why do you think, Huff? Because you lot turned me on, is why. Oh. Especially that other missus over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that button on the top of the safe. Right you are, governor. Can you come with us then? The others need to see this. Huh. No, I can't, and more's a pity. I can only go as far as this cable here will let me. Oh. I've got internal batteries, but they're knackered. Okay, so they're not working. In fact, that's why I was here for maintenance in the first place. Oh, his batteries aren't working right, okay. The same goes for these other blokes, too. 
course, they ain't connected to a power cable like I am, so they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Okay. I see. So, you aren't going to answer my question? Huh? What question is that? I asked you how your shoulders can get stiff if you're a robot. Right, right. So not sure why you've got to bug up your ass about that particular <laughs> issue, though. Well, I mean, I guess it's not really important, but I'm just curious, I guess. Curious, are you? Well, that's a good word, that is. A good, powerful word. The kind of word that will set any robot's heart to flutter. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Why? Just lend what? me your laws and peers for a tick. Okay. So, how can a robot get stiff shoulders? And what does pain mean to a robot? Yeah. Tell me, Guff, you ever heard of the Chinese room? Vaguely from the gold folder. Without waiting for an answer, Gollum launched into his explanation. Somewhere, a pretty young girl is trapped in a tiny room. The door of the room has a slot that a number of Chinese people outside the room can use to slide slips of paper to the girl. On the pieces of paper are questions written naturally in Chinese. Unfortunately, the young lady has no idea what the questions say. Then how could she? She's never learned Chinese apart from a Hong Kong action movie or two in college. She's never even heard of it. Heard it. So this unfortunate young lady, each note looked so for this unfortunate young lady, each note looks like nothing more than a bunch of strange symbols. Before she was locked away, she was given an order. Specifically, she was told to write an appropriate response to each question she received and slip that answer back through the slot. Once the Chinese questions began to show up, however, she finds herself at a loss. Oh dear, she says to herself, why can't I read these at all? Whatever am I going to do? It is at that moment that she spots a bookshelf. The bookshelf is filled with thick books. Upon examining them, she discovers that they are some sort of Chinese... Oh, hold on. Sheesh. Once again, my capture timer is in the way. <clears throat> Phrase books. They have no explanation of what anything means, but show Chinese responses to Chinese questions. Am I supposed to use these? Questions keep coming. More and more and more of them. She finds the set of characters that correspond to the set of characters on the paper and carefully writes out the indicated response. How's it going? It's awful. Please get me out of here. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. Here they give her some twice cooked pork. Are you full? Yes. Although I don't think my stomach liked it very much. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I'm dating a reggae dancer. <laughs> then when was your first kiss? When I was 14, he was a grade ahead of me in school. What color of underwear are you wearing? Black. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get out of this room? Beat the stuffing out of whoever's sending me these questions with the pan you cooked that twice cooked pork in. All of these questions were written in Chinese, and the answers were also written in Chinese. All the young lady did was accurately copy the symbols from the phrase books onto the slips of paper with no idea what any of it meant. Incidentally, she doesn't have a dancer boyfriend. In fact, she's never even kissed a boy. Also, she's wearing white underwear. Anyway. Um. Yes? Is there any particular reason this girl is, um, pretty? Or, or <laughs> why we need to know what color underwear she's wearing? Can't say there is. This tickles me fancy, I guess. So she's answering without having the understanding of what she's answering. Well, the prettier the is okay. the more fun the story. Is, that makes sense it? then. Yeah. That makes a little bit more sense. What? <clears throat> what? Right. Well, what I wanted to say was this. All them Chinese blokes outside the room didn't know nothing about them books what she had. So it follows that they would have thought whoever was inside spoke Chinese just like them. Mm. See? After all, as far as I can tell, they're having a nice little chin way with one of their countrymen. Um, okay, interesting. But what does that have to do with the shoulders or your shoulders or a robot feeling you pain? Think? I feel pain when my body's having a spot of bother. Well, hold up, mate, this ain't we keep this up and we're buggered. If things go really pear shaped, we'll be brown bread. So says the central <coughs> computer to itself, seeing that things are a bit bollocksed. In the interest of extricating my body from its unpleasant predicament, the mainframe sends out a signal over the wireless, and my software interprets that signal as pain, and I stop doing whatever daft thing I was doing. It's the same, in it? Just like the Chinese room. So you're saying the robots feel pain differently than humans, right? Use your loaf, Missy. You listen to a word I've said. No, it's essentially the same. However, it goes through a different process. A human feels pain when you do something you shouldn't, like sit your bum down on attack, right? But in this case, the mainframe receives the information and tells the robot to stop doing same that. Same thing for us robots. <coughs> if you feel like being clever about it, I don't forget all about that main. So think about it, love. 
How do you know humans ain't the same? Just without all the electronic y pony, huh? What if when someone asks you a question, all you're doing is pulling out the right answer yep. from some sort of phrase book in your brain? Yes. There ain't no way to prove that, of course, but as far as I can see, there ain't no reason to. I mean, it's all the same. That makes yeah? sense. That makes a lot if of you're sense. You're actually a thinking creature, or if you're just some kind of language processing machine. All what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. Looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, then it's probably a person. You want to live a normal life? That's all you need to know. Hmm. Okay. I get you. Well, let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Gollum. That was a nice conversation. Hey, can I ask you something? Lay it on me, Governor. Why'd you stop us? Ah, right you are, mate. Right you are. Got so carried away, I near forgot. I haven't seen anyone for yonks, and I got a mighty excited. <laughs> oh. Just spit it out. Right, right. Well, uh, there was something I wanted to tell you, Lot. And next time, we'll find out what he wants to tell us. Thank you so much for watching. This was strange but very interesting <laughs> next time we will get out of this golem bay and maybe into the the room we were actually supposed to go into and we'll probably see if that key fits in the back of Kay's head okay see you next time bye <laughs>